Universal Center for Renovation presents Historical Israelites. This is strictly for educational purposes and commentary of biblical and secular historical literature. So, enjoy. Subscribe, like, and share. Was Jackie Kennedy a woman of color? New England Historical Society was Jackie Kennedy the first black first lady? When first lady Jackie Kennedy visited England in 1961, society photographer Cecil Eaton met her at a dinner party. In his journal, he commented she had a Negroid appearance. Negroid appearance. Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis. Jacqueline Lee Kennedy Onassis, born July 28, 1929, died May 19, 1994, was an American socialite, writer, photographer, and book editor who served as First Lady of the United States from 1961 to 1963. As the wife of President John F. Kennedy, a popular first lady, she endeared the American public for her devotion to her family, dedication to the historic preservation of the White House, and fashion sense. During her lifetime, she was regarded as an international fashion icon. Wife of President John F. Kennedy. Beaton detected what some claim is Jacqueline Aubois Kennedy Onassis's African heritage. It would make her the first black first lady well before Michelle Obama moved into the White House. Jackie was related to the Von Selly family according to the New York Genealogical and Historical Society. Anthony and Abraham Von Selly were among the first settlers of New Amsterdam, renamed New York in 1664. Their father was John Jansoon, a Dutch pirate, who converted to Islam and went native in North Africa. Historians believe he fathered Anthony and Abraham with a mistress of mixed race. John Jansoon was a Jew. Anthony Van Sally came to New Amsterdam at 22, perhaps the first Muslim in the New World. He was actually a Jew. He then found success as a prominent landholder and merchant. Anthony consequently defended minorities. Contemporaries described him as Wani, half Moroccan, a former black slave, and mulatto. Anthony Van Sali, the son of Jean. Jean Zun, the Jew, former black slave, the mulatto. Jackie's father, John Bernou Beauvoir de Beauvier, Black Jack. 
under the one drop racial code, all she needed was one distant ancestor from sub-Saharan Africa to be considered black. The code first enacted as law in Tennessee in 1910 decreed that a person with one drop of black blood was to be considered black. Jackie's father, John Bonal Beauvoir, had such a swabby complexion that people called him Black Jack. Jackie's classmates at Miss Porter's school asked her if he was really white. But Jackie Kennedy described her Van Sali ancestors as Jewish. She wouldn't be the first person with African blood to inhabit the White House. The Von Sallis descendants also included President Warren G. Hardy, as well as the Vanderbilts, the Whitneys, and Humphrey Bogart. The Vanderbilt family and Whitney family. The Vanderbilt family. The Vanderbilt family is an American family who gained prominence during the Gilded Age. Their success began with the shipping and railroad empires of Cornelius Vanderbilt. And the family expanded into various other areas of industry and philanthropy. Cornelius Vanderbilt's descendants went on to build grand mansions on Fifth Avenue in New York City, luxurious summer cottages in Newport, Rhode Island, palatial Biltmore House in Asheville, North Carolina, and various other opulent homes. The Vanderbilts were once the wealthiest family in the United States. Cornelius Vanderbilt was the richest American until his death in 1877. After that, his son William acquired his father's fortune and was the richest American until his death in 1885. The Vanderbilt's prominence lasted until the mid-20th century, when the family's 10 great Fifth Avenue mansions were torn down, and most of the Vanderbilt's houses were sold or turned into museums, and what has been referred to as the fall of the House of Vanderbilt. The Whitney Family the Whitney family is an American family notable for their business enterprise, social prominence, wealth, and philanthropy. Founded by John Whitney, 1592 to 1673, who came from London, England to Watertown, Massachusetts in 1635. The historic family mansion in Watertown, known as the Elms, was built for the Whitneys in 1710. Beginning with William Collins Whitney, Members of the Whitney family would become major figures for more than a century in the breeding and racing of thoroughbred horses. And since nearly 4% of European Americans have African ancestors, the United States probably had more than one black first lady. Eaton, by the way, did not limit his caddy remarks to Jackie Kennedy. He described Audrey Hepburn as looking Mongolian with a huge mouth. Here's the complete description of the first black first lady, Jackie Kennedy. Huge baseball player's shoulders in hunches, big boyish hands and feet, very dark, beautiful, receptive eyes, looking roguish or sad. Sometimes they pop too much, mouth very large and generous, with a smile turning down the corners in an inverted laugh, a somewhat negroid appearance, the suspicion of a mustache, and very black here.
President John F. Kennedy, born January 20th, 1925, died November 22nd, 1963, at the age of 46. Senator Robert Kennedy, John's younger brother. Look Magazine, 1966. Suppose God is Black by Senator Robert F. Kennedy. Look Magazine. August 23rd, 1966. Suppose God is Black by Senator Robert F. Kennedy. South Africa's Dilemma. A bright future weighed down by the dark cruelty. Here is a personal report on the land of apartheid, where even the churches are segregated. You are by law an inferior from birth to death. Our aim was not simply to criticize, but to engage in a dialogue to see if together we could elevate reason above prejudice and myth. I was told the church to which most of the white population belongs teaches apartheid as a moral necessity. A questionnaire declared that few churches allow black Africans to pray with the white because the Bible say that is the way it should be because God created Negroes to serve. But suppose God is black. I replied, what if we go to heaven and we, all our lives, have treated the Negro as an inferior and God is there? And we look up and he is not white. What then is our response? There was no answer, only silence. Senator Robert Kennedy, born November 20th, 1925, died June 6, 1968, at the age of 42. The Kennedy family, the Kennedy family is an American political family that has long been prominent in American politics, public service, entertainment, and business. In 1884, 35 years after the family's arrival from Ireland, Patrick Joseph D.J. Kennedy became the first Kennedy elected to public office, serving in the Massachusetts State Legislature until 1895. At least one Kennedy family member served in federal elective office from 1947 when P.J. Kennedy's grandson, John F. Kennedy, became a member of Congress from Massachusetts to 2011 when Patrick J. Kennedy II, John's nephew, retired as a member of the U.S. House of Representatives from Rhode Island. Kennedy, Osanida, the three helmets on the coat of arms represent the Beyond, Don, and Guada branches. History, according to Genealogist Brian Kennedy in his work, Jeff K's Irish or Kennedy ancestors, the Kennedys who would go to play a significant role in the United States of America originated from the Osanida beyond. One of the three Irish Gaelic Osanida clans 
the supreme ruler of Albin, Scotland, during one portion of the 10th century was, we have been told, Kenneth, the founder of the Kennedy clan, or Sinad. His alias were Niger, nigger, or dub Gaelic for black, the black. David McRitchie, Ancient and Modern Britons, Volume 2, page 87. 